legacy systems that the public sector tends to have in a lot of places are based on old technologies where you write a report and you get you know a 500 page printout and that's that's your business intelligence yeah? whereas these days there's a lot more use of the, the modern technologies of the web and, and, and proper data warehousing techniques um, but more and more more end user friendly tools that allow people to navigate information themselves. It, the industry of business intelligence has moved so quickly in the past two or three years. In, in, there's been a convergence of technologies, not just in the software space, but in the hardware space to accelerate to business intelligence. I think particularly in the public sector, when you look at the volumes of information they have to deal with on citizens, on, on, on transactions that go on in pensions or procurement or whatever, it is vast amounts of information. And they've probably Another misconception might be that it costs a lot of money to go and build a massive data warehouse and tune it properly and, and have a large infrastructure. But there's so many things converging now around commodity hardware, a lot around software techniques. We use an in-memory database technology which we acquired a few years ago to speed this up as well. So that the people can actually get this information at their fingertips really quickly. Uh, and it doesn't cost an arm and a leg to actually achieve that. Traditional business intelligence is, is what's been around for a long time in most people's understanding. It's, it's a report that they get on a daily or weekly basis and allows them to make some short-term decisions, either on operational or tactical sense. But if you're looking at running a business strategically, and regardless of whether that's in the public or private sector, you need greater insight into where is a business heading, what is going on in that business. And, and, and that's where we look at analytics, where we, we say, okay, from a large amount of information, how do we bring together different dimensions of that information which allow us to, to greater insight into comparing different areas. So for example, if I'm expecting a certain level of performance across different areas of my business, I can set a benchmark and then gathering all the information together I can measure those different areas for performance and if I can see that one area is performing well as compared to all the others. I can go to that area of the business, I can talk to find out what's making them so good, and then I can use those learnings that I've had to go back to the other areas to help them improve. And that's really what I, what I, I'd say is, is, you know, the analytics give you that insight to zero in wh where can I make a difference, uh, and where are trends happening that I might be able to capture before they go to the wrong place. Um, well, we've got various industries that use it. We've got a lot in healthcare in Singapore, where they're trying to, to make their operations more efficient and improve patient service. Uh, in the education sector, we've got a lot of companies uh, who use business intelligence to, to look at how more efficient they can become or how they can effectively manage their resources better. Um, to, to manage class sizes or to, to manage their lecturers or the, or the resources of their environment as well. Um, and one big customer for us of business intelligence is Min Ministry of Defence here in Singapore. And they've been an SAP customer for a long time. But they also use uh, our business intelligence tools to um, plan better on their, their procurement and defence strategies and the use of their resources in their organisation. I think one, one commonality across the public sector is very much about how do I get, um, you know, sweat my assets better, as, as, as we use a commercial term is how do I more effectively utilize all the resources that I have, whether they be financial or physical or, or people, and, and deploy those in the best sense so that we are providing uh, the, the best return on the tax dollars that, that are received. I'd encourage people to really seriously consider looking at uh, the standardizing on BI technology um, because there's been too much um, best of breed approach in this space. If you look at the application space over the past five, ten years, the idea of best of breed has died because best of breed means you have an integration problem. And particularly in business intelligence, because it's far more end user driven, end users want performance, they want response times. And I don't mean just by using the reports, I mean from the IT department who's delivering these services. If you have multiple technologies, then the IT department is going to spend all their time trying to make those technologies work together. Whereas if you've got a standardized BI platform infrastructure from a single vendor that's been integrated, then the IT department can spend more time using that to deliver what the business wants, rather than trying to keep it together all the time.